So, um, my HDMI adapter for my laptop, uh, well, Pi laptop, um, arrived today. And at first, I thought it wasn't working. Um, I thought it had been faulty. Um, I, I removed the insert and shaved it uh, down a bit. So, um, well, where did that piece go? Oh, whatever. Um, so I could actually fit it in there. And I thought that might have done something, but it turns out that um, I, the way I was doing it, I had the Pi on and then plugged it in and did that and, and opened it up. And um, that uh, didn't work because apparently this has to already be on when the Pi turns on. So um, my solution was just to like open it up first and plug it in. But also you can power it from this USB port and that USB port gets power when it gets open. Um, got this plugged into the wall at the moment. And once I open this up, Pi powers on. And it boots up. Um, I don't have a USB cable, um, a female USB cable yet to go to that. So at the moment, um, I'm just using a wireless keyboard slash mouse. And you can see it booting up. And Glory is, I think, 1360 by 768. Um, it does have sound. I'll be very crappy. But, like, that's my only disappointment of this so far, is that the sound is just tinny as can be. And Alright, so my Wi-Fi is becoming ready. It takes a second to boot up. Um, I've got Wysid daemon running um, that connects and everything. So, all right. So, give that one more second and it'll connect. I can log in actually right now. Okay. So, um, um, first things first. I can do emulation. Whoop. Um, there's the sound. Um, let that come up. Super Mario Brothers. One handed, which won't work at all, but. Um, sometimes it runs better than others. Um, I don't know exactly how to optimize it yet, but, um, if I escape out of this, uh, I've got PR Boom installed. I haven't got the actual Doom one there, but I've got Freedom one there. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Like, this works for the mouse, doesn't it? Oh, I need to own the mouse. Yeah, there's, there's Doom. Um, I can get some Pandora radio playing. Choop. Not the fastest Wi-Fi, but that's what I expect with. And you'll kind of hear the crappiness. It's stereo. That's good. Just sound called this crappy. It takes the back corners. But it works, and I guess that's all that counts. Um, I can then own all my inputs. Because XBMC and uh, Quake want to want to have their inputs, uh, then I can go to Quake. And I'm actually using this trackpad, so it's not that great, but you get the gist of it. I could probably do a networking too if I could find one that works. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, 
one in that little pie. There's that. Surprised I got any hits at all off of that. And then I can launch XBMC. know how quickly I can get to a video and it loaded. Um, GUI is not very fast at all because it eats eats RAM. Um, but and I've got shortcuts set up because it takes so long to load some things that it almost has to have shortcuts to get to everything you need. So I can go here. I can go to TV shows. You see loading in the bottom, takes a while. Then I can go to favorites. Oh, and I favorited only one show. Only one show I want to get to quick. And you'll see what show that is in a second. Doctor Who! Select the Doctor Who, you get the nice little background. Oh, focus, focus. It takes forever to get to here. You like do the search every time, so I added it, added it to favorites to alleviate a little bit of the time of getting to it. This is the one part I wish they could speed up just a little bit, but alas, the CPU is. Um, I personally am just now starting season five. And 11th hour. I'm literally just now starting love, um, season 5. Sad to see Tenet go. Smith, I've heard, takes a little bit longer to get used to, but he's not bad. So, I'll see. Uh, there we go. I usually choose the first put locker. So it works out the best for me. And again, it will open stream. This is the only place where it's slow as can be. Video plays fine once it loads, but um, getting there can be a hassle, as you can see. Oh, and there we go. I can pause it. You can see the video information. Oh crap! You can see the video information. Um, H. Uh, H. Two six four. That's the reason why this plays great out of the box because it's actually got hardware decoding support. And there you go. Resolution uh, of the video isn't that great, but you really don't notice it. And this is a 1360 by 768 screen, so. So, yeah. Uh, I can get out of this quickly by hitting S, I think. Yep. And exit. And I can even start X. And this is my X. Um, Loads pretty fast because it's just a base open box install. I can open a terminal emulator. Actually, I might have opened here in here. CDO. Aha! I do. Ooh, hope Terry running full screen too. Nice. I meant to hit arcade mode, but whatever. It's, it's 
the only thing I found so far that requires um Ah crap. It's the only thing I found so far that requires X to be running. Um one player arcade. I got the mouse right now. Yeah. Let's see if this goes any higher on the scale. Nope. See. And then, um, the default web browser I have set is uh, Lynx 2, which, why it's the defaults have, it, it loads pretty fast. And I've also, if I ever need it, which it runs god awfully slow, but I've also got a Chromium one here. Just for the JavaScript support. Doesn't run that great, but it runs, so I guess I really can't complain. Um, then I can right click, get out of here, and that's about it. Um, I can issue a sudo halt, and it'll halt it soon. The Pi is halted. Pi is still getting power though. So I wait for the green light to stop flashing completely. See, no HDMI signal. Then so I go and close the lid. Pi powers off. And all is done. Um, $40 for the lap dock, $35, $75 plus a $24 Wi Fi adapter. So without tax or shipping, you're about 100 bucks in this. I'm about 100 bucks in this. Um, keyboard I use for other stuff, so I don't quite count it. But yeah. Um, built in battery, built in speakers. Once I get USB going, the um, trackpad and keyboard will work. And I'll be able to plug the Wi Fi adapter into this, so I'm not pulling the power directly from this. And all will be good. So that's all. Goodbye.